everybody, it's Christy from Ohio coming to you tonight live with my Keto Kitchen. I am back. Sorry there was no Keto Kitchen on Thursday. There was a little problem with um, Facebook Live. So I think everything's okay now and we are coming to you today live with our Sweets Night. It's Monday night, Sweets Night. Um, when you hop on, make sure you say hi, hello, let me know where you're coming in from, if you're catching me live or on a replay, and if you want to catch me as soon as I go, go live, you're going to tap my nose, three buttons up here on the top, and you'll get notified as soon as I go live. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for watching. Tonight, we are making keto pumpkin bread, all things pumpkin. Tomorrow is September 1st, and all things pumpkin, pumpkin spice, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. You're going to get sick of it before the end of October gets here. So, hi, bub. Um, when you hop on, like I said, make sure you say hi, hello, because I do not always see everybody that hops on. I want to make sure I give you a shout out and let you know that I see you. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for hopping on from New Jersey. So, we are going to do um, keto pumpkin bread. And we are going to start out, no need to write this down. Just sit back, have fun, pay attention. I will um, post the um, recipe in the comments below. I also posted it in the description of the um, live, so you can uh, get it from there. Or if you smash that button down there that says share, you can share it to your wall and it saves it. And you can share it to other groups that you know that would love this recipe because everybody loves pumpkin. Everybody, right? If you love pumpkin, give me some hearts. Hi, Tina. Hi, Mary. So we're going to start out with none other than pumpkin. This is um, Libby's pumpkin. It is only calling for seven ounces. This is a 15 ounce can, so we're only gonna use half of this can. So I will eyeball it about half of the can. You know me, I don't like to measure things. I don't do things by the rules sometimes. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for sharing, Tina, I appreciate it. So we started out with seven ounces of pumpkin. We are going to use our swerve. Don't forget the sweetener because last time I made something pumpkin, it was not sweet enough for me. And I'm hoping that this is going to be sweet enough for me because I like sweet. Hi, Susan, thanks for watching and sharing. Uh, so this is Swerve. This is our, I don't know if you can see it, uh, this is our um, sugar replacement. So we are going to use a full cup of Swerve. So I have my cup here. And we are going to use a full cup, which feels like it's almost the whole bag. This is the granulated. Uh, they have two types. There's granulated and there's um, confectionery, which is like powdered sugar. We're going to use that in the icing that goes on the top. So we're using granulated for the bread itself. So make sure that you give me some hearts if you're loving to use some pumpkin. And we are going to do um, a fourth of a cup of butter. So that is um, one, two, three, four of the tablespoons of butter, the stick of butter. So I'm going to stick that in the microwave for 30 seconds. Let that get melted while I put in my vanilla. And we are going to do a teaspoon of vanilla. This is just vanilla extract that I got. I probably at Kroger or Walmart, not sure. Sometimes you can get them at the dollar store a little cheaper. So that is our vanilla and our butter. Sounds like it's all melted, our melted butter. And we're going to add that in there. Okay, now with a hand mixer, we gotta make sure we use a hand mixer. We're gonna mix all this up. about that got a little loud um so we got all that mixed together so to recap we used seven um ounces which was half of a can of pumpkin 
a cup of granulated sugar, a fourth of a cup of butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla. That's what we've used so far. So next, it tells me to add four eggs, room temperature eggs. We're gonna add them one at a time. So you add one, make sure it's really good mix, and we're gonna add another one, and so on and so forth. So here's my first egg. And it's gonna be loud again. There's our first one. Hi, Poodle. We are cooking pumpkin bread. I can't wait to taste it. So here is egg number two. So again, if you love pumpkin, give me some hearts. Or give me some pumpkins in the comments below. That would be great. Here is egg number three. So it's kind of like um, Sesame Street. One, the count. Um, so here's egg number three. Getting it all mixed up. Hi, Mary Beth. And our last but not least, egg number four. So we will get him mixed up. Oh, Debbie loves some pumpkin. Whoa, that could have been tragic. Wasn't paying attention. Had me some shell in there. That might have been a little crunchy. That wouldn't have been very good, so. Okay, so we have our four eggs added. So now we're going to add all of the dry stuff in with it. So, here we go. We are going to add, let me see. We are going to add one and a half teaspoons. Let me find my teaspoon. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is baking powder. It's just a Walmart brand of baking powder. So there's the one, one and a half teaspoons. There's one teaspoon. I'm checking and double checking myself because I don't wanna make any mistakes. Hi Kylie. And a half. So that's one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Got that. Now we are going to do two teaspoons of cinnamon. Cinnamon makes yummy, yummy. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon is so delicious in anything pumpkin. So there's one teaspoon. And two teaspoons. Okay, so there's our cinnamon. Hi, Patricia. So we got our cinnamon in there. Now we're gonna do a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And you know my favorite, pink Himalayan salt. It is great to keep you hydrated. So we love to add it in everything that we cook. Fourth of a teaspoon of that. And let's see. Now is our almond flour. I, I almost made a mess. Um, I just use whatever brand, I think this is maybe Walmart brand, um, almond flour. So we're going to do a whole, let me make sure, a whole cup and a half of almond flour. So there's one cup. And here's our half of a cup of our almond flour. We're going to do a fourth of a teaspoon, so I'm back to my fourth of a teaspoon, of clove. Well, guess what? I don't have clove, but I do have pumpkin pie spice. So I'm sure it's got clove in it. Probably has all the other spices that I'm adding to it as well, but 
we are just going to go with the pumpkin pie spice. So if you have clove, you'll use clove, a fourth of a teaspoon. If you don't and you have pumpkin pie spice, let's try the pumpkin pie spice. Okay, and we need one and a half teaspoons of ginger. Lots of dry ingredients we're adding here. Make sure that you are um, smashing that share button and you are putting the word shared in the comments below so that I know that you shared it. You will get entered into my drawing at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the week. Um, you will get entered into my drawing at the end of the week. So if you smash that share button, put the word shared in the comments below, you will get entered. You'll get entered a second time if you put a friend's name down there and you tag them in the video. So in the comments below, tag your friend that you know would love this recipe and I will get you a second entry into the drawing. So we have ginger, just regular ginger. It's the Kroger brand ginger. I don't know if my, and we are doing one, mm, I got a tablespoon, one and a half teaspoon. Oh, that is a teaspoon. One and a half teaspoons of ginger. So there's one and my half of ginger and then a half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. You know, all things nutmeg. Thank you so much, Susan, for sharing. Okay, looks like we have every dry ingredient that needs to go in there. So we're gonna give this a mix. Make sure we get it all mixed up together. It smells amazing. Um, mixing it up I'm going to put my oven on 350 so 350 oven okay it smells amazing smells like pumpkin spice in here sit up there Okay, so we have it all mixed up. Looks fantastic, smells fantastic. We are going to add to it, it says optional walnuts or any kind of nut. Well, I don't like nuts in my breads or my desserts. I love nuts in general, I just don't like them in my sweets. So, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some chocolate chips to mine. So it's like pumpkin chocolate chip bread. So it says a fourth of a cup, but you know Christy, just pour some in there. And we're gonna give it another mix. So now we're gonna have pumpkin chocolate chip bread. And I might add a few more. Make sure that you are sharing this to your wall so that you can save this recipe or you're sharing it to groups that you know would love this. Any keto groups, any low carb groups, any mom groups, give it a share. And when you share, put the word share in the comments below and you'll get added into my drawing. And if you tag a friend, you will also get put into my drawing. If you are brand new, put the word new in the comments below and I can get you into a group that has got lots of recipes just like this. Tips, tricks, ideas, um, no keto police, lots of support on your journey. So put the word new in the comments below if you are brand new to my show. Make sure that you um, follow me at hashtag Sassy Keto Queen. That is my new hashtag. Um, so I'm all brand new to that. So I was supposed to say that at the beginning, but I didn't. So make sure you follow me in hashtag Sassy Keto Queen. And let's see, what else do I have? And if you also um, want to go ahead and friend request me if you're new, 
you can go ahead and friend request me and I can get you into that group a little bit quicker. So, now that we have our bread all finished, we got our uh, loaf pan here. I have my avocado spray and I'm just going to make sure that I have the entire thing all sprayed down. Make sure that we did not forget anything because I don't want to forget anything. We are going to add our mixture. Can you see me still? Add our mixture to our pan. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to taste it. When it is all done baking, and I have tasted it, I will give you a picture and a review of the finished product. I will let you know what I think. I will give you my honest opinion. There are things that I make that I do not care for, and I will tell you all about it. And there are things that I absolutely love that I have made time and time again. So, it is all finished. It is getting ready to go in the oven. It is going to go in the oven for 40 to 55 minutes. Okay, so we are going to put that in the oven as soon as it heats. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna to add to the top of it when it's all completely finished cooking and it has cooled off for about 20 minutes. So we don't want to do this too soon because we don't want it to melt completely on top of it, but we are going to make a topping for it. So. I have two tablespoons of butter that we are going to melt just a little bit. So we're not gonna put it on a full 30 seconds. We're gonna put it in there just a couple, maybe 10 seconds just to soften it. It is calling for four ounces or a half of a cup of cream cheese. Well, don't have the bar of cream cheese, but I have the whipped cream cheese so it's already kind of softened. So I'm gonna give it an estimated half of a cup here. So, so it's a half of a cup of the whipped, which looks about good. Okay. And we are going to do two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, which this is the, the Land of Lakes heavy whipping cream. I got my tablespoon, so we're gonna do two tablespoons of that. And we are doing the two tablespoons of butter, which I have here. It's a little softened. And a half of a cup of confectionery sugar. So this is the swerve. This is the Swerve confectionery sugar. This is like powdered sugar. So, Chantel, it's okay. You can go back and watch the replay. It's all right, no big deal. So we're gonna use, this is a big bag and I'm probably gonna make a mess, but. A half of a cup of confectionery sugar. Now, we are going to want to Wash off our beaters because we have raw egg on our beaters. You don't want to use the same beaters with the raw egg on them. So we are going to mix this up with our beaters. Thank you, Susan, for sharing. I appreciate it. Maybe. Okay. Now, to mix this up, delicious iced topping for it. So, no need to write the recipe down because I posted it in the description and I will post it in the comments below. I will give you a review in the comments below with a finished um, picture of what I have finished once it's done cooking and once I've had a bite to taste it. Make sure you're smashing that share button and putting the word shared and also that you're tagging a friend and if you're new, make sure you put the word new and I will get you into my uh, recipe group. That is absolutely phenomenal. 
Um, and if you want to get to me quicker, you could always friend request me and make sure you always follow me by tapping my nose three nut buttons in the top and you get notified as soon as I go live. I will see you all on Thursday. Thursday. I appreciate and love you all. Bye-bye.